Western Kentucky. When you're from the South, it's the closest place to hunt big Midwestern whitetails. Combine lots of agriculture, big Western genetics with a one buck state, and you get legitimate opportunities to harvest a world-class whitetail. This year, Denise and I were invited to hunt a good friend's property in Western Kentucky. And knowing what I know about that area and what it produces, we jumped at that opportunity. McWhorter Custom Rifles presents Kentucky. It's got a couple of key things going for it. First and foremost, it's close to Georgia. <laughs> Secondarily, it's got a rifle rut season which plays right into the hands of the MCRs. So go with us today. I'm going to carry my 6.5 Weatherby. Denise is going to carry your 7 rim mag. We're going to try to put some big bluegrass bucks on the ground. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by McWater Custom Rifles, Extreme Wildlife Adventures, Swarovski Optique, Yeti Coolers, and Barber Creek Shooting Academy. Well, it's first part of November and we're headed to Kentucky to kill a big bluegrass whitetail. And Denise is taking her trusty seven rim mag, board and action, Brooks barrel, Swarovski scope, trigger tech trigger. Love this and rifle. still shooting 175 grain burgers, about 3,000 feet a second. We're going, the longest shot she'll probably have up there is about 500, so we're just going to make it hard for her. Hit that four inch gong out there. Okay. All right. Can't take all day either, it's getting dark. Ready? Good shot. One inch left, dead center, up and down, you're perfect. Woo hoo! All right, but you did leave me some room to beat that. I'll shoot it again. Yeah. Ready? That was on the other side. So on the average, you're right in the middle. It has that That's only a four inch gong, so that's good shooting. Yeah. The wind's kind of back and forth, so. All right. I ain't shot my six five with me in a while, so. I gotta see if it's still on. So get that raggedy ammo out of the way. Go over and spot for me. I'm shooting my 6.5 Weatherby again. Lord and Action, Brooks Barrel, Swarovski Optic, and Trigger Tech Trigger. And I did bump it around a little bit, so I'm gonna make sure it's on before we go to Kentucky, even though we're not looking for real long shooting up there. So here we go. Dang, I woulda quit on that one. That's right. That's about a half inch below dead center. And I think we're ready to go to Kentucky. You happy? You good? Happy. No excuses? I gonged it. This property we we're gonna hunt was ideal whitetail habitat. Ag fields broken up by fingers and blocks of mature hardwoods and then CRP areas giving the deer a lot of cover. As soon as I got to see this property, I knew it had some major potential. All right, we're almost here. Nine hours later from Georgia, we're uh, almost at our place up here in uh, Western Kentucky. It's gonna be a great day tomorrow. It's opening day, November the 10th. The rut's wide open and we got a cold front coming in. The high tomorrow is only gonna be 38. And I think it's going down to 22 tonight. So. Couldn't, things couldn't be better for opening day. We've got a lot of good pictures. 
Denise is ahead of me on the buck count this year, so I'm hoping I shoot before she does tomorrow, and I hope I shoot a bigger one than she does, but you never know. She's pretty lucky, but Western Kentucky, ruts wide open, and we're ready to hunt. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Sport Ear by Axel Hearing Performance. We're going to kill a deer this morning. I am. I don't know about Alan. <laughs> Opening morning was finally here, and we decided to split up. Denise and our cameraman Russell headed to a muddy blind overlooking a greenfield. Overall, the first morning was slow, and we kind of expected that with a big, heavy frost on the ground. With it being opening weekend, right in the middle of the rut, we knew that it would probably just be a matter of being in the right place at the right time. I was sitting solo and self-filming on the other side of the property overlooking a different greenfield myself. All right, well, we're in Kentucky. It's the first morning. We're sitting on a big alfalfa field that's about to eat to the ground, but we've already seen two bucks. We saw about a three-year-old eight-pointer and about a four-year-old eight-pointer, and uh, but we got some uh, some bigger tens and some over deer on camera, so it's a cold day. It's about 22 degrees. We got in this wine this morning, and uh, not supposed to go up to 39 today, so I, I think we're gonna have a, have a good sit. Most of the movement's been later on in the morning, so. We're hoping for Mr. Big to get here pretty quick. After regrouping and putting together a plan for the afternoon, we headed out to put up a ground blind for the evening set. The first evening, I was sitting over about a 30-acre clover field, gorgeous clover field. I decided the wind was right to just sit on the edge of the field, and I knew with my McWhorter 7 rim mag that I was shooting, anything that stepped out in the field was in trouble. bog pod front tripod set up which stabilizes the front end of the gun. Now we get this rear 
stabilizing bipod a little shorter and this one's got the V in it so it stabilizes the rear end of the gun there we go always mount the gun make sure I got full range of motion under the rear so I think we're I think we're solid we're all set up all we need is a buck there's a dog right there already that took a long time we've been here about three minutes that dog's looking back in the woods something in the I don't know, I don't know. there's a little buck there's a good buck right there That's a big 10, he got a short four on one side, that's him, isn't it? I threw up my Swarovski binoculars and immediately I could see it was a buck, and a good buck at that. I knew that this that's buck was too good to pass, no matter what day of the hunt it was, and in no time the 6'5 Weatherby was out the window of the blind. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores. Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, Sport Ear by Axel Hearing Performance, and Surge Pro by Biofact Crop Care. James back from Barber Creek Long Range Hunting School. We're going to talk a little bit about shot placement, especially when running a burger style bullet. We love these burger VLDs. They're phenomenal for dropping an animal in its tracks with a hydrostatic shock. Uh, we do high shoulder shot or what I like to call basically straight up the leg center on the body and anytime you shoot an animal, North American animal or an animal species similar to that like in South Africa, if you hunt the uh, Plains Game African animals, it's going to drop in their tracks. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and shoot these animal targets we have at Barber Creek Long Range Hunting School. We use full size animal targets with the vitals that pop when you hit them and they're straight up the leg center on the body. In the military we got a saying, train like you fight in the hunting world train like you hunt. So always practice on targets. Don't do those heart shots. It doesn't give you enough room for horizontal air. We'll get that to uh, we'll get get to that a little bit later in some other videos. But let's go ahead and get started. Burger bullet 140 grain out of a 65. Going live, we're going to go ahead and shoot. We got a right to left wind, 3 mile an hour, 3 quarter minute. Spotter up. Okay. All right, good shot. I could have given maybe a quarter minute less wind than what I did, but still nail it right in the white, and that's why we use these full-size animal targets. Uh, straight up the leg, center in the body, burger bullet, the animal falls, dinner's ready for you. All right, another good downrange shooting tip from Barber Creek Long Range Shooting School. Thanks a lot. There's a good buck right there. That's a big 10, he got a short four on one side, that's him, isn't it? I threw up my Swarovski binoculars and immediately I could see it was a buck and a good buck at that. I knew that this buck was too good to pass, no matter what day of the hunt it was, and in no time the 6'5 Weatherby was out the window of the blind. <laughs> we literally, this don't happen to me. We were literally here eight, ten minutes. Huh? <laughs> Jeez. I didn't get to see him. The smoke from the gun came out and the sun glinted, so I didn't get to, didn't get to see him. But David said he didn't go far, so I'm not used to shooting on the first day. This is great. Maybe Denise gets one today, too, huh? I do 6 5 Weatherby with the Swarovski scope on the heart barrel board in action. It, 140 grain burger going about 3200. I think I think it did the job. So let's go get a buck.
What a nice buck. Look at that buck. Pretty, pretty, pretty buck. Whoo! What a nice Kentucky buck. 10 point with an extra cheater right here. Good brows, long beams, dark right, long tines, man. Look at that G2. And we had gotten situated and I just determined I need to swap sides with the cameraman when uh, when the deer we were watching started looking funny and we saw this guy up here at the edge of the woods and uh, no time to change positions. I kind of contorted and got on him and uh, we dialed a scope up to about 220 yards and uh, that 6.5 Weatherby shooting that 140 grain burger 3,200 feet a second to put it on him. We uh, shot him quarter and two. He ran up and uh, piled up about 50 yards from where, where he stepped out. Just uh, a great buck and man what a pleasure to get to shoot on opening day of Kentucky gun season. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Capstone Precision Group, Brooks Barrels, Borden Accuracy, Trigger Tech, Revolution Safe Company, Safari Club International Foundation, and Browning Trail Cameras. After our morning sit, we decided we wanted to cover a lot more ground. The skies cleared up, we got some nice sunshine, but we're sitting out over a giant clover field and it is gorgeous. Um, so we've got a backdrop of some cedars right here up against um, a cattle fence and uh, we are super excited. We've got a great wind um, coming away from the field toward us, so I've got some pretty high expectations. This feels real good. As the day was winding down, a few deer started to filter out into the clover. We got antlers coming up. Much quicker than I expected, Russell and I spotted a tall racked buck that came busting out into the food plot from my left. That's him. One look in my binos That's and I him. knew he was the one. Did you hear it? It slapped him like a two by four. <laughs> Russell says, big pop, big pop. Oh my God. The dough and the bone, they were just ahead of him. He came in chasing. When he told me big pop and I saw him, I started moving too fast. And the dough saw us and she started The bug didn't realize what had her going, and he stopped long enough for me to get on him. First day in Western Kentucky. First day. He's huge. He's huge. Oh man. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. I see you. Before the shot, I didn't have time to get too excited. But after I pulled the trigger, I knew I had just shot the biggest eight point I'd ever had the opportunity to hunt. Oh man, look at this eight point. Very first buck in Kentucky. We, it happened so fast. A Couple of does come in and the way they ran in, we could tell that something had bumped them and just, oh my gosh, just seconds later, this guy pops over the ridge and it was like antlers everywhere. 
What a fantastic hunt here in Western Kentucky. Um, I could not be happier with this gorgeous eight point. It's the best eight point I've ever gotten. And I've um, been hunting a lot of years. So this is just absolutely amazing. You miss him? Yeah. Well, here we are next morning after a magnificent day in Western Kentucky. Uh, we found us a honey hole up here in uh, Western Kentucky, and the good news was I got to kill a buck before Denise did on this trip. But both of us killed opening afternoon. It was, I hadn't been in the blind 10, 15 minutes, and Denise shot hers with plenty of light left. Just couldn't ask for a better hunt. I mean, I, we both brought McCorder custom rifles up here and they both did the trick and that's why we make them. We, uh, we love hunting with the rifles that we make and just a great day. Two bucks on opening day in Western Kentucky. Now that's how you do it. And you can bet we will be back next year to do it all over.